who was just telling me a little bit about the market. Huseni tafadhali sasa salimia tu audience yangu tafadhali. Good afternoon. Kikiswahili ni sawa. Asalamu kwa mabidi na mabwana. Mimi ndio kufanya biashara pa soko la uzunguni na The Tanga region is one of Tanzania's 31 administrative regions. The regional capital is Tanga City, located in northeast Tanzania. The region is bordered by Kenya and Kilimanjaro region to the north, Manyara region to the west, and Morogoro and Pwani regions to the south. It has a coastline to the east with the Indian Ocean. The Tanga region has produced one of Tanzania's greatest intellectuals. His name was Shaban Robert. He's considered as one of Tanzania's greatest Swahili thinkers and one of East Africa's greatest writers. In Tanzania, he is honored as a national poet. The secondary school in Dar es Salaam called Shaban Robert Secondary School is named after him in his honor. Okay, so the journey starts right in front of the Amana Bank here in Tanga City and we'll be just walking down the street here and you'll just get an idea of how the place really looks. Now it's uh, Monday morning and um, the street, uh, you know it's early so people are just beginning to come out and um, you'll find people having their breakfast in different cafes and you know roadside um, shops so it's a nice peaceful vibe here in Tanga City. I'm really loving the vibe here in Tanga and whoever is considering visiting Tanzania, you definitely need to consider Tanga City. In fact, Tanga City to some is known as the city of peace. It's known as the city where it all began. It's an ancient Kiswahili or Swahili town for some people it's known as the city of romance they find they love they find the love of their life here they make they have families here you know so it's a really wonderful place to be now over the years you have had many different people from across the world that has made tanga their home you have people from other parts of the African continent. You have people from Somalia and different places. You have people from the Arab world that have come here and made this place their home. And people from other parts of Tanzania and other East African countries. So it's definitely a wonderful and beautiful city. And for some you may say, well, it's, it, it, it don't have the high rising buildings like New York or some other places in London. But what it does has, it has peace, it has hospitality, it has a sense of culture and togetherness. And these things are very important. These things are very important when you choose to live in a particular place or country. You know, these things you have to consider before moving anywhere. And Tanga definitely has these things. And even in terms of business, if you're an investor and you're thinking about some places to invest in, in Africa, you can surely consider Tanga City and Tanzania in general rich soil here especially for people who are interested in agriculture and different things like that so it's definitely a wonderful place to be So one of the things you will find like on the right there you can see this is a very popular mode of transport that's the border border the motor motorcycles 
and you get um you'll find them all over the city and it's quite reasonable price especially for someone who's coming from maybe the western countries or whatever you know you can get a a ride starting from El Fumoja which is 1000 so for 1000 shillings you can get a ride to a certain place that's just the starting price of course if you're going to further locations you'll have to pay more there's also um, there's also the local Dala Dala buses now for those who have an experience at the local buses before let me just pre-warn you they do pack them really tight so if you can get a front seat next to the by the driver might be much better for you because you don't want to be you know squeezed with so much people in the back but nevertheless it's one of the local transport here and you can also get the taxis local taxis Now this is what the local Dala Dala buses look like. This is what they look like here. Very popular amongst the local people here in Tanga and throughout uh, Tanzania. Now if you just take a look at some of the architectural designs here. Now I did mention to you in the past you had you've had different people uh, you know that have occupied and hold leadership positions here throughout Tanzania so it was once upon a time known as German East Africa you have also had Portuguese influence you have also had Arab influence and when we say Arab we're specifically um, in particularly referring to for people from what is today known as Oman uh, rulers from that region we have also had um, the British that had a, a leadership influence here in Tanzania so you do see in the architecture like what as we're walking here the buildings is a reflection of those various countries that once colonized this area and it is still maintained especially in uh, the, the town city here in the city here in Tanga even the verandas up the veranda upstairs and then business downstairs that's a popular feature you will find with people from the uh, Indian subcontinent. Continent, they usually have a house upstairs and then business, a business place downstairs. Very interesting. Now, I just want to take you to this area right here. Now, this is in the heart of uh, Tanga City. So once you get to Tanga, this place is, you know, it's, it's relatively easy to find. You can ask anyone, uh, maybe a border, border driver or your taxi driver to take you there. So depending on your budget, you may consider, you know, coming to a place like this. Now, right in front of me, this is the new coffee tree motel okay so it's a bar downstairs and they have some rooms upstairs and the rooms are going for the uh, around 15,000 Tanzanian shillings okay 15,000 Tanzanian shillings okay so that's the new tree motel okay 15,000 Tanzanian shillings but just bear in mind there is a bar downstairs so it, it, it could be quite noisy on the weekends on my right this is a bit more upscale okay this is the mount usambara 
Hotel. Habari? Asante. Upopoa? Sa. So this is the Mount Usambara Hotel. And um, it is it is one of the, you know, what, what would I say? Upscale hotels in the area. And they offer accommodation. There is conference facilities. There's a coffee shop. There's a grill restaurant on the first floor. And they also have hotel um, facilities in terms of an airport shuttle. They can get you to the airport. There, there is an airport in Tanga. And you also have the room service. So they do have an, a, a, a number here and a website www.mountusambarahotels.com So this is one of the upscales. It's, re it's really nice. So this is the inside of the Usambara Hotel and it's literally opposite a street called Indian Street here in Tanga and yeah, of course it's quite modern there's an elevator so you literally just from the ground floor you will go to the first floor and that is where the reception area is located and I must say everything here is quite organized it's quite clean and I'm loving the vibe here at the Usambara Hotel so if you're ever in Tanga you should definitely consider this place this is the reception area when you come in so this one of the things you will notice about Tanga like I mentioned there are many people who lived here and literally this street that I'm walking is known as Indian Street and of course there have been many people from the from India and other places who have lived here in the past and some do still live here today they're very much a part of the Tanzanian society they are Tanzanian many of them have been here for generations now they speak the Kiswahili language they have business here and they contribute uh, significantly to the to the economy so <clears throat> in the past though however there used to be a lot of them much more that lived here and this street is called Indian Street so this is what it looks like today and um, there used to be a lot of businesses here in the past very busy street I have been told so you're getting a view of what the street looks like today So some of the accommodation like I told you the Usambara hotel and all of that literally it's uh, across the road from Indian Street and this is pretty much what Indian Street looks like And this is the sign you can look for when you're looking for Indian Street. So I'm going to take a right here.
If you're looking to get your hair done for the gentlemen, you got a good barber shop here, Untouchable Classic Barbers Shop. Very modern style in terms of the uh, facilities and all of that. Now this is like a calf and this is what you will see especially where people go to have breakfast in the morning. One of the popular breakfast people have is chaya rangi. Okay, and chaya rangi is basically tea without milk. You will also, um, people will have chai tangawizi, that's ginger tea. And some people have tea with milk. And there's another popular local, you know, tea it's very healthy, al susu, and that's basically um, ukwaju, which is tamarind, tamarind mixed with um, tangawizi, which is ginger, cloves, and um, all mixed together. Okay, and it, it's like a dark color once once it's been mixed, and it's really really healthy, especially if you have the cold, you have the flu it will really get rid of that you know so it's very popular in the Tanga region even when I was in Pangani they had the Al Susu so a lot of people were having that there so very very interesting So to reflect the cultural diversity in the area, you can also see here, this street here is known as Mta Wa Arab, Mta Wa Arab, meaning Arab street. So we'll just take a quick walk. Now some of these places, what do you notice is you may, you may not find as much Arabs on these streets like in the past but you still do have a few descendants of them here but I would say to you that definitely Tanga has had a mixture of people that have come and made this place home for many centuries and people lived here together in peace and right here on the Arab street you even have a Agape Life Church and there, there isn't from what I've been told and observed there, there isn't um, any religious conflicts between people people generally live in harmony with each other so these are some positives especially if you want to invest or live in a particular country um, these are some of the things you you will look for that that you know that peace and stability in the in the nation and the country so thumbs up to tanga for maintaining that uniqueness So at the end of the Arab Street here, you will find 
you know there's a little restaurant there's a Duca La Dawa Duca La Dawa in English means a pharmacy so if you need any medicine and stuff like that you can find it here and also if we walk down it will lead us to the Exim Bank so previously we saw the Amana Bank here you also have the Exim Bank and you also have um, services that goes to Zanzibar so you can go to the island of Zanzibar and different places so you will find all that um, offices here so that's not too far from Arab Street literally at the end you just take a left and you're there So a lot of people who are interested in doing some type of business where you will have to transport your goods via this, the port here in Tanga then this is definitely a place you will have to know about and that is the Tanzania Port Authority in Kiswahili is known as Bandari so Bandari house Tanga and this is where you'll pay your tax and different things like that so this is what it looks like here in Tanga and we'll just take a, a walk down so you get an idea of what the port looks like so literally when I took a left on Arab Street it led me towards the uh, Bandari house, the port authority's place and I'm walking straight down to the port in the last video I said is Tanga the best port city and some people were saying I need to visit Cape Town, Durban, I've been to those places but you see when you think about what's the best port city it means I, I was asking a question is it? is it is a question not a decla declaration but what I would say to you definitely is if you're looking for a place of peace and tranquility that comes first before any kind of development imagine being a developed place you know there are many people in New York different places it's quite developed in terms of the modern facilities but a lot of people they some of them they're, they're very cautious and, and wary of going outside at a particular time they have to be careful where they're going you know these these things what's the point of those things and being in a developed country if you gotta worry about that you know in Tanga from what I've observed so far of course you do have to maintain certain precaution but generally speaking it's a place of peace and I'm liking the vibe a popular feature you see a lot throughout Tanzania is these tea boys and they sell various tea Habari they sell various teas and um, the side of the road they'll wash a cup for you, pour your tea, or wait for you till you finish drinking and then they move on. It's around 200 Tanzanian shillings for a cup. So it's a similar price throughout Tanzania. So this is where a lot of the cargo and different things will be coming here in the port here in Tanga look at this amazing greenery guys it's beautiful banana trees and all of that I'm really loving the lush greenery here in Tanga beautiful
can't really go in much guys there's certain you know rules and regulations but at least you get an idea where you need to be coming they even have a number and an email if you need to contact them so this is the vibe here at the port here in Tanga and all the cargo that's coming by via sea will be coming at this port Okay, so coming up here is the Numbani Hotel and Resorts and this is a popular hotel here in Tanga so it's literally right behind me there as you can see this is the entrance now rooms per night starts around 90,000 Tanzanian shillings so that's the Numbani Hotel and Resorts and it's literally on the Independence Avenue here in Tanga. Really nice rooms and they even there are also rooms where you can see the port. So you get a sea view as well here in Tanga. So whenever you're in Tanga and you're wondering, well, what's a hotel you might want to check out depending on your budget, then you want to check out the Numbani Hotel and Resort. It's a bit more on the uh, pricey side for those who may be back backpacking. You may want to check out somewhere else like the other one that I had mentioned previously before which starts at 15,000 Tanzanian shilling per night but if you're looking for something with relatively luxury comfort Wi-Fi and everything like that then definitely check out the Numbani hotels and resorts all right let's continue our walking tour and let's see what the more Tanga city has to offer for us as we explore the city Now if you're in, in the city and you may need to set up your Airtel line or you're looking for a cafe, you can definitely come to the hashtag cafe. Now across this street here, You'll find like locally made um, baskets and African wear for women and they also have the slippers as well so these are some of the local things you can find when you visit Tanga if you're looking for souvenirs and things like that yeah you can definitely find that here Abadi Dada. Okay, following on the road, this here is like the main post office here in Tanga, Posta, Tanga Head Post Office. So, you know, if you're receiving your packages and stuff, this is where it will come to. There's even a barber shop on this street as well, the Talon bar Barber Shop. And also, if you're looking for modern shopping, modern facilities, Mkwawabi supermarket, you can come and do your shopping here as well. If you prefer to come to a supermarket instead of maybe a local market, you can come here as well quite modern facilities and usually in the evening time there's also the barbecue and grilled chicken and all of that happening here miskaki and different things this is where it will be happening and there's a seating area at the back and there's also a ca um, an ATM cash machine where you can come and get your money as well so everything 
can be found there. I'm here. I'm really liking the vibe I'm seeing here in Tanga. So there's a gas station or petrol station right on the right here. So that's one of the points you definitely remember when you're coming to this market, you gotta remember. And then literally to the left, there's the market. And immediately you're greeted with someone here making different bracelets and necklaces with beads and we have um, different arts and crafts you have drums you have different sculptures here so this is really nice to see very quiet feel you have all your fruits and vegetables which can be bought here market is not that big but it has everything that a, a person will need but yeah this is Uzungoni market so definitely when you visit Tanga come and you know shop here support the local businesses there are a lot of fruits and vegetables you saw the amazing um, artifacts sculptures and different things you could even get locally made hats from the bamboo and different things like that my brother husseini was just telling me a little bit about the market husseini tafadali Salamu kwa mabidi na mabwana, mimi ndio fanya biashara pa soko la uzunguni na mimonyeji na nafanya biashara ya mzee wangu Nipu hapa duka mboli po la vila fikacha hapa mota maduni, tradition and customer Kwa welcome kwa watu wote kandibuni sana Shukra ni sana mabwana, shukra ni sana So, yeah, this is, you know, he's telling you welcome to the market They have a, a lot of things here that pertains to the tradition and culture of Tanzania yeah and uh, you are welcome to come here to the market customers and shop and you'll get at good prices yeah. Babe, small but, prices yeah uh, small shops yeah he said uh, small prices small shops so he'll definitely give you buy nafo good prices so yeah this is live here in Tanga Karibuni Tanga Karibuni Tanzania Abundance of watermelons, pineapples here. It's amazing. Wow. Amazing stuff. Salam alaikum. Salam have amazing baskets and all these are locally made uh, baskets here yeah. abari bwana salam ni shilingi ngapi 1015 so something like this is like 15000 tanzanian shillings which is a very good price These are all the various things you can buy here. Animals, yeah. Okay. Like slave trading for the. Oh, okay. Chinese. Right. The, the yeah, the slave master. Slave master, okay, alright. So this is what they use. Okay, what about this one? 
This is knife. Oh, knife? Yeah, like knife. So. Oh, wow. Whoa. Panga. I don't know. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> this, uh, okay. Okay. The big one. Oh, okay. This is a big knife. Kiss up here? Yeah, kiss up. Mm. So these are knives as well. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Wow. This is the in that in Kisukubwa. I have a little bit of a dam. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's a picture of painting. Ah, Africa. Ah, Africa. <laughs> so, Ngoma Pia? Yeah, drums. Ngoma Kidogo. Mm. Yeah. 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 So this is like 20,000 Tanzanian shillings. And this is 16,000. Okay. So that one is 16,000. Okay. Last price is last price fifty-five. Yeah. Okay. But 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 be be enough. Be enough. Be enough, <laughs> So so yeah, guys, definitely. The, Which one? The uh, is the, like a spoon. Oh. Yeah, like a spoon for cooking. For cooking, okay. Yeah. So these are all local uh, types, like wooden spoons for yes. cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Katika Kiswahili Kijiko. Kijiko. Yeah. Kijiko na, na uma. Uma, yeah. So na, na uma. So like spoon yeah. and like a fork. Local styles. Yeah, yeah. So guys. Maasai. Maasai. Yeah. Maasai warrior. Africa, Africa, Africa style. Africa style, yeah, yeah. Okay. So these are all the things. The giant man. The giant man. Yeah. yeah. Giant man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the big five uh, animal okay. Tanzania. Animal Tanzania, yeah. yeah big five. These are the big five that you will see here: lion, elephant, hippopotamus. Yeah. All and everything is here. So, yeah, definitely when you visit Tanga. Uh, small price here. Mm. Small shop, small price. Small price. You'll yeah. get. He'll give you a very good price. Jina la kuni nani? Huseni. Huseni, yeah. Yeah, Huseni Abubaka. Se Huseni Abubaka. Ni na furai kuko ona leo bwana. Okay. Yeah. I do trust that you have had a joyful experience watching today's episode. As I stand and gaze at this beautiful city of Tanga, I am amazed with the tranquility and peace that is found here. Oftentimes, early in the morning, you hear the call to prayer. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha Illallah. In the afternoon times, you hear the sound of those words. In the evening, at night. And the greeting which I often say here, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Definitely that peace, that divine peace is found here in Tanga. And there's more to explore in Tanga, ranging from the Lushutu Mountains, the Ambuni Caves, the waterfalls, many more to see and do in this amazing region of Tanga. We'll be exploring more. And as today we close on this episode of Tanga, be rest assured, I'll be back again to explore more of this amazing city of Tanga. So, I trust you have enjoyed today's show, and do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni Tanzania, Karibuni Gigi Latanga.